back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host uh, Shaheen. In today's video, we are going to analyze Dow Jones 30, uh, and uh, which is an index for U.S. Uh, stock market, and uh, S&P 500, which is also another index for uh, U.S. Uh, stock market. And uh, British pound, we'll look at it. We'll look at euro. We'll definitely analyze silver and gold, and we'll definitely, definitely look at crude oil. Now, if you guys have seen my previous analysis on last week, uh, we had stunning forecast in uh, the stock market, in uh, gold and silver, and in crude oil. Uh, we'll discuss crude. There is uh, we discussed also forex, but the prices did not move as we thought they would move. So give me thumbs up so that we can uh, spread the message to more and more people. The one thing you can do for me is to just push that thumbs up button if you like the content. And if you've seen my previous con uh, forecast and you like, you thought the market's exactly going. So in today's uh, first of, uh, um, episode, we are going to look at the larger view uh, of the stock market. Now I have uh, indicated uh, that I am bearish. I am seeing that there is a cycle degree wave peaking out uh, in the in the stock market, not only in U.S. but also in other world indexes as well. And uh, the reason is simply because they move together. Most of the economies follow actually U.S. economy, and hence uh, their stock markets move together too as well. So uh, bringing that point, I'm um, there is an important uh, level. Eighteen thousand points is. Uh, in one of the targets, uh, one main target that I'm looking for the stock market for Dow 30, and you guys have also seen already the S&P 500 potential target, which is 1,700 points uh, as per the chart. So this is the longer view. I'm of the point point of view that we have already completed the top uh, in Dow Jones, and we have uh, already moving downwards. And uh, the larger picture is that I'm bearish. Uh, as far as the larger cycle uh, is concerned in, in the stock markets. So let's zoom in and see what is happening. Uh, now a lot of you guys are not seeing uh, Elliott Wave patterns. Uh, I'm going to definitely indicate what patterns I'm seeing, but the labeling would be uh, not available. I do not share my own labeling of Elliott Wave because it's very easy to, to copy. I can definitely uh, show you patterns and that's why I'm going to look at it. First of all, let's delete these lines uh, so you can actually make sense of the market. Now we have seen uh, a pattern wave one and two, another wave one and two. We can also look at wave A, wave A and wave B and wave C of a double three pattern in which wave A and wave B are zigzags and wave C is an expanded flat. So either way, we can see that we have an impulsive uh, price movement downward and we have seen bearish price movement downward uh, bearish correction for that movement we are also looking at the double top right over here just below the the top that was created so all this deadly on this particular time frame uh, and I did in case we can now look at it a fourth or four hourly time frame uh, first of all there is a support line that we can actually use right from over here this connecting right over here and we can see that the temporary uh, support has come uh, right over here and prices have jumped off when prices have jumped off you can see another pattern forming right over here so I'm considering this is also as a double three pattern I'm considering this whole price movement as a single zigzag another zigzag right over here a double zigzag probably and expanded flat giving us a double three structure so we can consider it e either as one two one two or you can hold consider it as an impulsive wave and a collective wave uh, and neither e either case is fine with me uh, and if you are not sure on an hourly time frame we can see right over here so right now I'm myself bearish I have a bearish position running on the on Dow Jones and I'm expecting for the prices to go further down so uh, one thing that I wanted to bring here today and uh, if you guys are looking at the whole video then a lot of people are going to miss it because they like to jump from one point to another but I'm expecting one missed day in a trade can create a difference between uh, making that trade um, something that you can take and uh, jumping in the middle of the market when you it's, it's not advisable to take the trade right so it's up to you what you want to do what I'm seeing what I mean is let's say that we have we can move back to daily time frame Let's say that we have a big bearish trade day right over here. In that case, as soon as that big bearish day comes, all of a sudden 
this price movement seems far away uh, from the entry point and all of a sudden which the at which the point the the, the price movement was looking very very attractive on a smaller time frame let's say it's coming down right over here it looks very ugly the entry point is very ugly so at this is the point I wanted to bring in if you guys are interested in I think entry is uh, one of the key components of a very good trading setup so imagine that I, I'm expecting that next week is going to be completely bearish we are going to see some uh, large uh, bearish days uh, in next trading week and that's coming from a couple of things I have gone on into uh, matching price uh, patterns in in the history of the stock market as well and I've seen that all of a sudden when we have a one two one two and a smaller one two we will see a larger price action as soon as that larger price action occurs all of a sudden uh, it the entry becomes really bad uh, so if you're not a bearish uh, you know uh, it becomes really really bad trade uh, so once again we are uh, we can see double top occurring right over here we have higher low and uh, lower high and uh, even lower low even lower high and we are seeing that this pattern is going on on a four hourly or on an hourly time frame as well uh, expecting that this pattern the correction that actually started right from over here is complete and we should actually see some fireworks downward in the Dow Jones uh, next week a similar pattern is being uh, uh, visible is, is visible and even is more S&P is a uh, is more bearish as compared to because the prices are moving strongly downwards as compared to Dow Jones uh, we can see that we have seen wave 1 and we have a B and C pattern which is a double 3 pattern so we have an impulsive wave and a confirmed double 3 pattern right over here we cannot consider it as 1 2 1 2 because the prices actually went beyond the particular structure one thing you can consider it is the whole price movement can be considered as wave 1 and a corrective wave structure I have a different uh, way of analyzing the market I'm not interested in the nitty-gritty uh, labeling and I'm concerned is that we are uh, we have an impulsive move downward and we have corrective move upward and we have not only uh, actually bounced off the double top right over here we have all already started that journey as well we are already broken the diagonal support we are uh, trading below the resistance right over here and we are trading below the double uh, top formed so it's completely bearish price section now we can look at a hourly time frame to see what is interesting more here you guys can see that uh, the correction pattern that actually started in Dow Jones went all the way up right over here in confirming this is the first leg second leg and third leg you guys can can also always refer back to Dow Jones right over here right over here. this one I'm talking about and in S&P 500 we can see uh, that we can now consider this whole price movement as an impulsive movement the correction came later not only correction has gone into the wave 4 area of a previous 5 wave structure we can consider it is as 1 2 3 4 and 5 I'm expecting that wave 3 is not larger as compared to is not the smallest trade if it is the smallest you can still consider it as wave 1 2 1 2 1 2 all right so once again these nitty-gritty details we're not gonna discuss uh, we're not gonna fight over the labeling of which wave is which we can see one thing and we can agree on it this is an impulsive move a corrective move an impulsive move a corrective move an impulsive move a corrective move uh, giving this information and we are suspecting that the stock market has uh, S&P has formed right over here uh, so this is very important information we can definitely see a bearish move and a double top forming right over here too we can also see that the prices went beyond the previous low right over here giving an indication that expanded flat has occurred right over here or, or in which the prices have gone beyond the previous low give us an indication that the downward pressure is even stronger as compared to some other tool so once again hourly chart frame we can see that we have seen huge huge price action in one day not huge but we can see that it took so many days to complete this particular structure and within a day we had uh, come over of that structure I'm expecting that this behavior will continue and we are more bearish uh, in S&P 500 it looks like the crack is gonna happen very soon we are expecting to see uh, the the floodgates open of the orders and the prices would move sharply down I do pray that uh, the spillover from the stock market crash does not actually 
get into the lives of regular people uh, because if it does then we are looking forward uh, to, towards a depression and uh, not only uh, and I mean depression I did not mean to say that uh, it's gonna be some smaller time frame uh, correction a year or six months I'm expecting if the prices go down I'm expecting that we are looking for a, a depression because the fundamentals are heading towards that way as well and we can see that we have the price action is giving an indication as well right now British pound we uh, I told you guys that I was bullish on British pound we have seen um, br uh, bullish price movement I gave you guys guys an indication that a lot of noise is expected in this and and we were expecting uh, for British pound to be bullish and this the what is called the the analysis still stands you're expecting for the British pound to go up right over here and we have seen a huge uh, a bullish price movement in one day and we have seen a correction as well so I'm expecting that this behavior would continue all right I think that we have right now seen the double bottom forming we have seen the prices cross and prices are right now falling so we better need to crack this we not only have seen an impulsive move we have seen corrective move so could that possible that can come down there's a possibility it can come down uh, so use one of your analysis tools to give you confirmation when it's going to go up but I'm bullish on British pound exactly right now it's at a good form uh, to go long on in, in British pound and I'm expecting that next few trading days would be really interesting so I'm, I'm uh, bullish on British pound if if I missed in that uh, gibberish uh, analysis I was doing now here is the case I have indicated that it's going to be l quite a bit of noise coming out in, in euro and we have seen that noise because let me see on hourly time frame we have seen prices go up and then the prices stayed down we were expecting for euro to go long right over here too once again it has failed to go long so we can right now say as far as my analysis is concerned I gave you guys an analysis that I'm expecting some sort of corrective pattern that is gonna stay many, many days long it could be forming an a flat correction or it could be forming a zigzag correction or a double zigzag I mean first zigzag correction another zigzag so that analysis is still valid I'm expecting that the noise will stay in euro we are not expecting for a major bearish move that's what if you are looking at it I'm not expecting a major major trend continuation downward we are very very close to historic lows and I'm expecting that support would come the price movement has uh, formed right over here so you can use simple uh, break of support and we have also horizontal support that's coming in action right over here too right over here too okay so we can use these uh, break of support uh, signals to give us when to trade the market all right let's say the price is actually going on and we can see the price is going on we get to form a corrective pattern right over here in that case the break of that corrective pattern would actually go uh, a bias towards the upper side I am personally staying away from euro I already informed you guys in last week as well I did try to take a trade on uh, British pound but I was too late to join and I closed that trade uh, but I have a couple of trades running in stock market and in gold and silver uh, so right now I'm not I do not have a trade in Forex so if you guys are wanted to n know about it but once again uh, I'm bullish on Joro I'm expecting that some sort of correction either is gonna be uh, a zigzag right over here or either we are expecting a flat correction in in Joro and I'm in my own from my own experience I'm considering that it not a good move for to, to be traded so that's your decision now silver has moved interestingly let's do it uh, get back to the daily time frame to see what we have seen I gave you guys an analysis on, uh, on last week that we are expecting bullish price movement and that's exactly what we have seen the rockets type price movement has not occurred next week I'm seeing and uh, that we have not only seen and the impulsive corrective but I also seen an impulsive and a corrective move right over here too and I'm expecting that this uh, would give uh, way to prices to strongly move upward uh, the I'm expecting that the in in silver we are expecting a strong price movement upward 
So uh, our analysis from last week went exactly as we were thinking, although the the price pressure upward was not exactly as we thought. Um, but once again, I'm expecting that the corrections are over right now, uh, and you can consider it is as one correction ended right over here too. If you guys are looking for a pattern, so I'm considering this as a pattern right over here, and I'm considering this as a pattern right over here. All right, so this. A simple flat correction, another, and a five-wave structure, an expanded wave, uh, um, expanded wave, a flat correction. I'm expecting from top to this one, and the prices have initially uh, moved strongly. I'm expecting that this behavior would continue. There is a very strong chance that we are going to see volcanic type of uh, price eruption in gold and silver, and the same chance exists in. Dow Jones and S&P S &P, uh, 500 on the bearish side. I'm expecting the volcanic uh, type of price action is expected on both on all these four. And Nasdaq as well. If you guys are doing Nasdaq as well, so that as well. So U.S. Dow Jones 30, S&P 500, Nasdaq, gold and silver. I'm expecting that prices are going to absolutely crash and they will move in such a way uh, that it would give very less time for it. To, uh, for people to react and I'm expecting once again that this top that actually has right over here would easily be able to be broken uh, from the price movement so in short I'm bullish in silver let's have a look at go in gold we have seen once again uh, a very fine price movement in gold as well uh, I'm pretty sure some of you guys definitely took some profits in gold, uh, silver, Dow Jones, crude oil. Give me a thumbs up if you guys are uh, liking my analysis and you guys are benefiting from it. It uh, gives me more chance to spread the analysis to a wider audience on YouTube. So this is gold. I'm expecting that we shall continue uh, forming a higher price action in gold. There is nothing that is... Uh, in giving us an indication otherwise I'm expecting that an eruptive price movement should occur in next couple of weeks and by that I means really really dangerous uh, if some of you guys are interested in finding uh, in finding the the target let me see if I can actually bring that chart down One of the targets that I've done is around three thousand uh, dollars for gold, and I really hope that it happens uh, pretty soon. That target is not visible right over here, too. So I'm expecting that we are our one of the con the major targets that we have for gold is in the vicinity of three thousand dollars per ounce. When it's gonna happen? Uh, well, let's see what how it takes. But next two weeks are going to be very very interesting. And I'm expecting a major bullish price movement in gold and silver, a major price movement, bearish, bearish price movement in Dow Jones, S&P, and NASDAQ. Let's get back, mm, let's get this back to normal and so I can see some. Give me a moment. Uh, I just don't like to be out of square. Some of you guys are looking for uh, pattern recognition, uh, impulsive move, and a double zigzag downward. And we have seen uh, also a pattern which is formed right over here, wave A, wave B, and wave C, and expanded flat. And we have jumped off of the expanded flat right over here too. So uh, I, I, I saw a very interesting um, comment and I wanted to it was not on um, my channel and the comment was uh, that as soon as I uh, went long gold dropped and this is what it is and they said as soon as I went short gold went up and that's what it is so you gotta understand you you cannot be trading these smaller price movement we uh, are talking about high volatility in gold and if you want to take benefit from it the closest uh, stop loss or the closest swing that the size you can take is around 50 to 60 dollars if you are considering a trade a swing smaller as uh, uh, in comparison you're still looking for 10 dollar price movement 20 dollar price movement 
you're definitely definitely guaranteed to get hurt in in, in a goal especially with volatility now much uh, in nowadays so th one of my advice if you want to trade gold and silver uh, keep your stop losses for gold reference point should not be above than this one and for silver as well too we are not looking to capture this particular price movement there is no guarantee that prices cannot come down but you are asking me that price is going to go below that is going to be um, you know it's going to be a wrong analysis if prices can go down that world so you got to keep in mind when the markets are giving you a chance to take some money and the analysis the market is there do not be greedy and do not try to hurt yourself crude oil what an interesting price movement we were spot on in our analysis uh, not only in crude oil gold silver and stock markets as well I'm still bullish on on um, crude oil and this is exactly we thought that the prices were moving and that's exactly what's happening I'm expecting that a double top is formed uh, you know is you're looking forward to a double top right over here no matter what the fundamentals are right now I'm seeing that we already seen the bearish price action starting from this right over here we have seen a bearish price movement and we are talking about consolidation or a collective price movement and as soon as this price movement is conf is, is, is complete we look towards bearish price movement but we'll definitely be uh, wanting some proof of the end of this particular price movement there's a probability that the uh, the pattern would be able to complete before we can make the new next analysis so if prices can make a double top right over here too uh, and it drops below uh, some sort of horizontal support and this diagonal support is broken as well that would give us an indication that we should take bearish side in that case you do not want to put your stop loss right over here too you want to keep it close in case the price does go up uh, we can actually still uh, trade it later all right because there could be a possibility still that we were wrong in our analysis and this whole price movement is just one wave starting from this top right over here too so we gotta keep that in mind we want um, uh, the market to uh, to give us an, 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 a, a, a chance where we can say that okay one signal has happened we cannot just blindly jump into the market so as per my analysis right now we are considering this whole price movement as impulsive and we are considering this as a flat correction and this should be ending wave 2 but once again the prices should fall from the double top they should also break the structural support of a smaller time frame they should all definitely broke the support of this whole price movement which is a diagonal support that will be in combination and indication that we are heading downward if you are looking for a longer bearish price movement I think that we should be expecting uh, by the end by the mid to the end of the, the next trading week wish you good luck once again if you guys like my content please press uh, that thumbs up button subscribe it helps the uh, YouTube to pick up the algorithm and to pick up the to spread the, the video to a wider audience as well wish you good luck with your uh, trading for next week have a good one and bye bye